to Omelette Art. And no, we will not be, be making art with eggs. It would be silly. <laughs> so today I'm going to show you how I like to draw faces. And this is just like my basic face, but I usually tweak it around with different for like different characters and different faces and stuff. So let's go and draw a beautiful face. So I of course like to start with a circle. I really really hope you can see this because it took forever to get this camera angle and lighting and everything right so that you could see. I think you can see that pretty well. So it's a circle. It does not have to be perfect at all because you have an eraser. That's what your eraser is for. So usually like to start drawing in some of the guidelines. Okay. So, as I was saying, I just changed up the light and everything and the camera angle because it was bugging me. But as I was saying, we're going to draw, start drawing our guidelines. Try to keep your lines fairly light and sketchy. And I'm still not happy with this camera angle. There we go. There we go. Now you can see the whole page. There we go. So, draw in your start drawing in your guidelines. So you want to guidelines. So you want to draw a line straight through the middle of your circle, but start bring it down out of the circle like a lollipop or something. And then I don't really know how to explain how I do the bottom of the face, but depending on whether it's a girl or a boy or not, guy faces, I tend to do straight lines on the sides of the face and then bring it down like that. It always takes a bunch of like adjusting and everything to get it just right because I can never get it right on the first try but something like that but I am wanting to draw more of a girl today right now so that is what we are going to go with because I have this really cute idea for a drawing today but I decided oh maybe I should film something. So for a girl face, I just do more of a rounded face, make the sides of it more rounded and stuff just like that. See? And it'll probably be a little bit lopsided because I can't draw anything the same on both sides. Except I do okay with eyes, but it's fine. Um, you're going to want to draw your eye guideline. I usually put it like just above where so like where the circle that you drew and the chin part that you just drew like right about where those meet. That's usually about where I put the eyes. I don't really know. I'm just like looking at people's faces in general and just like how they're composed it's just taking a lot of what I see and putting it into my art so like a lot of references and stuff so now you have like the basic head see and so now we'll start drawing our features. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking in the background. So 
here I'm gonna just go ahead and erase some of these lines just because they're bugging me not the guidelines do not erase your guidelines but like cleaning up like the circle and like the top of the head maybe lighten up this pencil because we're gonna put hair over on the top of her head so yeah so now for eyes what I usually like to do is um, I'll start with an arch I've really been like drawing like exaggerated big eyes recently and so because of that we're going to make the eyes fairly large so you just so with the eyes you want to make sure that you do each step of the eye at the same time you don't want to draw a full eye and then move on to the other eye because that is how you get to where you can't draw the other eye so you draw two arches you want them to be fairly similar they can be messy at this point doesn't matter and then we're gonna have this girl looking forward and so you want the this circle to be right in the middle of the arch sort of leaving spaces on either side of your arch make sure your circles are about the same size So now you have that. So you have the irises. We're going to draw in the pupils next. But what I like to do a lot of times is add a little like light glimmer up in the, the corner of the eye. Even though there's not really a corner. The corner of the iris even though there's not really a corner to it because it's a circle but so we draw those in like that so you have these little circles and if you've watched my eye drawing tutorial you will know that and so then we'll draw in the pupil try not to get iris and pupil confused because i think i did that in my other video and then watching it back I was like oh great so then once we have the other pupil drawn in just like that I'll usually color that in and we'll probably go in and color that in with markers later once we have the sketch drawn out and now for noses what i really like to do and i learned this from scott christian sava here on youtube he just draws a circle and of course he does more realistic type drawings but I took his tip and added it into my cartoony style. And that's one thing that I like about art is you can find a lot of great tips from other artists and you can just incorporate them into your art. A lot of what my art style is from other art that I've seen and other drawings. So you draw the circle you're gonna wanna draw the nostrils on either side of the circle, just like this. And then we're gonna do a little curve right here. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. 
a little curve and then another little curve here and then connect the curves all along like the circle so yeah and then probably like darken in the nostrils and stuff but then you have a basic nose and you can kind of erase that circle I kind of like how it looks with the circle on there and I don't know why that's just me but you can see like I used to draw noses like it's just little lines and then somebody said that they look like mouths and so I was like yeah maybe I need to learn how to actually draw noses so and then mouths I'm not entirely sure like where I got drawing mouths a lot of times they're just lines but I'll do like a, a little smile like this and then like put a little line underneath it and kind of sh like shade in the bottom lip just a little bit like that yeah and I don't know why I do it like that and I've tried other ways too before it's like changed with how with my art style I don't know I barely have an art style but then eyebrows you kind of want to like draw a line where you want the eyebrows to be I usually do sort of curved eyebrows depending on if they're a guy or a girl again guys I feel like tend to have more arched eyebrows or like thicker eyebrows at least whereas girls tend to be a little bit thinner and a little curved more so although girls can totally have super arched eyebrows too and it looks great this is just how I draw them most of the time so there we have a basic face I don't usually add eyelashes or anything and this is basically all that I do for a face um and then I'll draw in a neck which is usually just lines like this that are curving outward you want them to be even because we're looking at her straight on and so i will give her shoulders those shoulders tend to like go slightly down most of the time I feel like unless somebody's nervous then they'll be like scrunched up if you get what I mean but um yeah we're not really focusing on shoulders right now so once you've got the face drawn though you're gonna probably want to erase your guidelines and just be careful inside your eyes because that's a lot of lines all right up close to there and lines on either side of her face as well so yeah and now I'm just gonna go in and add some hair I think I kind of wanted this girl to be wearing a hat but I think I may just go and draw another person for my idea that I had earlier because this isn't exactly what I was picturing but it's hard to draw in this angle a lot of times so I'm just gonna give her some sort of bangs or whatever And I tend to do like super pointy anime-ish hair, unless it's like really long hair, in which case it's like all flowy and stuff. And 
and I like it to curve around the face and stuff. That's just personal preference, and I hate drawing ears a lot of times. So I tend to cover them up a lot. We want to make sure that she has a not receding hairline. Some more hair. I don't really know why I decided to do it for short hair. I don't usually draw girls with short hair, but that is cool. We're trying something new. And I think maybe this lighting is also a little bit hard to see with some things, but I'll try to move out of the way so that natural light shines on the page. Um, so I guess let me know what do you think about it. I'm just gonna go So don't know if I'm going to be able to get comments to work because I couldn't on my last video and I'm not sure if it's just because of how my YouTube account is set up or what but I will try it's weird though because on the shorts they're completely we, like, I've only had one video where there's been any trouble with, um, comments, and I can't figure that one out either. I may need to go in and just re-upload that one or something. I don't know. I don't know if it's, like, something that I said in it, or, like, settings that I did. I don't know. I wasn't even, like, talking about it one thing when I do do just pencil drawings is I like to like shade in the nose like this you know I'll just go in like that, and then I'll usually do like a little highlight on the tip of the nose, all cute, like that. And sometimes I'll do a little shading under the neck and stuff, and under the hair. I really, really am bad at shading. I don't know what it is. I just can't really get the hang of it. So I just have like really weird looking shading. It's like really like block shading. I don't know if that's an actual thing or not, but it is to me, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I like her. Alright, that will be t all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and that you learned some things from how I draw faces. And I hope I'll see you in some of my other videos if I have time to make some. So, see you later. I hope you... I guess make some art with eggs or something. I don't know. Somebody figure out how to do that. <laughs> See you all later. Goodbye.